Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. Just want to share with you guys another amazing plant I got established back here, and that's this Moringa oleifera, otherwise known as the Miracle Tree. Now this is a fast-growing, drought-tolerant perennial tree. I planted this here from seed two years ago, and being as I'm in zone 9B and we get down to the high 20s in the wintertime, that was enough to kill the tree back, but in the spring some new shoots emerged, and throughout the summer the trees continued to grow up, by midsummer, we were at six and a half feet. So now we're getting a harvest from it, and I thought it'd just be a great time to go ahead and share it with you and also talk about some of the other fantastic benefits it has to offer. Now for starters, this may just be the most protein-rich terrestrial plant we have available to us. The Moringa leaves are 40% protein, they contain all nine essential amino acids, and they have a wide array of other vitamins and minerals and other nutrients, which is why it's often been referred to as a multivitamin tree. The entire tree is edible, the roots can be shredded and used as a condiment similar to horseradish. If you live in a tropical climate, it will start to create seed pods, which when they're immature, you can go ahead and eat those up. And once they mature, the seeds can be eaten like peas or roasted like nuts. The seeds can also be pressed for a very high quality oil that is resistant to rancidity and is also known to regenerate skin cells, has a potential as a biofuel, and also is used in uh, fine machinery. So there's quite a few different uses just for the seed. The leftover pulp from that seed, or the seed cake, can be used as a fertilizer or as a flocculant to purify water. So nothing in the plant gets wasted. Now the most popular part of the plant to eat is the leaves, and uh, my favorite way to enjoy it is in a Filipino dish known as tinola, and that's often made with chicken, papaya, ginger, onion, broth, and sometimes chayote, and of course the moringa leaf. So with all that being said guys, I mean there's more and more that I could talk about on this plant. It's absolutely amazing i'm so happy to finally have it established and i'm finally starting to get a harvest here now here i'm getting some longevity spinach and some moringa leaves and i'm going to be throwing this into a pasta dish i'm making for tonight and uh you know it's just such a good feeling knowing that i'm getting this high quality nutrient dense food just growing right in my backyard i don't got to go anywhere anyway guys thanks for tuning in i hope this video finds you well and out in the world plant more abundance in your life take care everybody i'll be talking to you again soon